Finding the Voices talk show by Monica Ingunam. I'm a huge fan of Finding the Voices. You're doing a great job for Manipur. Manipur bu prithi vida masatak pa. Good positive uh, voices and you know make those voices more visible. Yeah. Wanted our voice to reach in all the corners of the world. Finding the Interesting voices. people. In finding the uh, finding voices on people the from our own place. So if the guy na interest so if share uh, positive stories and inspiring mm -hmm. stories and bringing mm -hmm. out the good stories of Manipur. Finding the voices. What has been your challenge uh, uh, during the during, yeah during, especially during my uh, final year mm -hmm. when I was doing my honors mm -hmm. mm, there was a big challenge I, in the sense I went home in the month of October October break I mean mm -hmm. the autumn break we call it autumn mm -hmm. break and then I spent time with my mother my family it was very nice Mm. But I don't know, due to some enigmatic reasons, I could not come back in time mm. after the autumn break. Okay. And it just happened. And I, at the time, uh, I don't know what had happened. I could not recall properly, but I could not come back. October, November, December. Mm. My roommate also sent me letters. Those days, there was no, you know, the mm. telephone, no mm -hmm. mobile phone. <laughs> mm. A letter, I received letters and like that. And my... Finally, I could come back in the, at the end of January last week. Mm -hmm. And one of the reasons was, I think, financial reason also, plus some other reasons. Mm -hmm. I, 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 don't, I could not recall what was the main. Mm -hmm. Anyway, there I, I came back and my teachers, who were, who, all of them, who were so nice to me, and they somehow, though I was not very brilliant, they were very happy with my academic mm -hmm. ent enthusiasm. Mm. And then he told me, especially one professor, Professor Ansari, sir, mm -hmm. he told me, this year, this is your final year, mm -hmm. and you have missed so many classes, especially mm -hmm. logic in philosophy. If mm -hmm. you miss some, then, you know, it is difficult to catch up again, right? Mm -hmm. He told me, uh, you rest this year, Instead of uh, you know okay. getting you a bad to result, you yeah, have to drop one year. You mm -hmm. give the, the exam next year. Mm -hmm. You know that Ansari Sar was uh, uh, one of the best logic teacher in mm -hmm. India. Mm -hmm. He got award also. Mm -hmm. He was a Cambridge educated. Mm -hmm. He used that uh, smoke pipe and all this mm -hmm. old fashioned. Mm -hmm. And English was his English was very very nice. Mm -hmm. His voice was very small, mm -hmm. uh, low, uh, due to old age. His uh, retirement has been extended okay. because of his, you know, uh, quality of uh, teaching, uh, of teaching mm -hmm. and uh, all this. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, that was a challenge. And uh, another thing was I came short of attendance. So you dropped one year. But if I drop one year, I'll be wasting my parents' money for mm -hmm. another year. That was a, <laughs> that was a yeah, the big uh, dilemma. thing, a dilemma. But I decided, I, I chose a person from the Bible. Mm. Can I read? Yeah, sure. Yeah, Phil uh, Philippines. Mm -hmm. uh, there, I, I read uh, Vincent Peale, Positive Thinking also. Mm -hmm. And then he gave me this Bible verse. Of course, I didn't prepare for this, but it just mm. it became handy. Mm -hmm. uh, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Mm -hmm. And I really believe in that. And so I pasted that one on the wall, wall. study wall. Mm. And my roommates, because of uh, this exam tensions, some of them, they will just lie down. Mm. Okay, unable to cope with that them uh, concentrate anymore mm. uh, because of the tension and the challenges. Mm -hmm. But I use this Bible verse 
uh, Philippines chapter 4 verse 13 I can do all things through him who gives me strength mm. but in some other version uh, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens who strengthened me mm. so you wrote this I, I wrote this I, I look and I <laughs> uh, 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 so you got uh, your strength. Got, I got my strength I kept on studying mm. and that gave me strength and by God's grace without any you know setback i could clear mm. the philosophy honors exam final exam that year so you did not drop the year i did not drop the and year and then you didn't want to drop your year even after your professor had uh, suggested no, that no. you know you may not be able to clear no. but you were thinking at the back of your mind about mm. your parents struggling to send money to right, you to right. get you yeah. for the education exactly so this verse which you read was yeah. the strength for you and it drove you to study and concentrate and yeah. keep on going without giving up yes yes this gives me uh, enables me to do the impossible mm. and then i uh, to illustrate uh, my challenge i i drew up a, a cartoon a sort of illustration mm. as big rock huge mm. rock a small man trying to move the rock mm. And I uh, use this Bible verse, okay. and I use that so every evening, every night. I kept reading, and, and I, I think I was able to push that big rock okay, so <laughs> through the Bible verse. Yeah, no, because it's very interesting to it, know what drives people to mm. uh, not to give up. Because this is one of the things which is very important for young people. And mm. when we grow up, we yeah. always have aspiration of something right. which drives us to never give up right right ma'am mm. exactly just going back tracking back to your family mm. um, you shared very closely about your parents and the struggle yeah um, if you can share a little bit about the kind of struggle which the outside world may not have a window mm. to if you can share some of the struggle back in your native hometown yes yes ma'am my parents they want uh, me ask to get a good education. Mm -hmm. The missionary schools, as many schools are, out, man has grown, you know, mm -hmm. has come of age, mm. and the quality education, and the, the new syllabus and all this, mm -hmm. that missionary school, the first missionary school, which once was uh, one of the best in the district, you know, mm -hmm. could not retain its position anymore. So they shifted me, my parents, uh, an elder brother including they shifted me to another school in the main town mm -hmm. uh, yeah that is children training high school mm -hmm. and then at the time our headmaster was a very dynamic man poor mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, and the school was very popular mm -hmm. and but the tuition fees were higher mm -hmm. and then my father at the time was working uh, in the church organization mm -hmm. uh, as office attendant mm -hmm. and then his earning was very small mm. and at the time my brother was not yet in the bank mm -hmm. he was teaching in the missionary school okay so uh, the income is very less uh, very is very less mm -hmm. and then we from uh, two sisters and another brother of mine mm -hmm. four of us were put in the that school, school. Mm. and then you know our tuition fees and my parents income was you know just you know like uh, there was no plus minus mm. income equal to expenditure sort of mm. and there is no money left for other expenses mm -hmm. so my mother had to work on the field Mm -hmm. uh, to generate income. Mm. She was doing farming. Uh, farming. Mm -hmm. And then like that. And at the time, those children who could not pay tuition fees, we, we used to have weekly tests, mm -hmm. uh, uh, monthly tests, and so many tests were there in the school. Mm. And then like if we are were unable to pay yeah, the, the fees, fees, we will not be allowed to sit the exams. Mm. Those things always came. Right. But the headmaster was very nice. Uh, if ultimately you were unable to pay, mm -hmm. you call your parents. Mm. So that is another means, no? Mm -hmm. That is a way of him helping our parents also. Mm -hmm. So from my classroom,
I could see my father. <coughs> who came to meet my headmaster because he was unable to pay the fees. I'm sorry. <coughs> that vision is still there. So that, that is how we struggle. And then Mission Compound was uh, nine kilometers away from the main Churachanpur. And at the time, since we were in the rented house, at the time we didn't have uh, our own house in the main town, Churachanpur. Yeah, but your parents had got all of you there yeah, to got speak the, for education. The education. So, and in 1979, there was a big drought. Mm. And then for, for many days, no rain. My mother would carry water for us nine kilometers away on our back. And like that, you know, they don't mind. There was no proper transport system at the time. They cared for us so much. I think I am, I'll be unable to narrate every situation here. So but that is the kind of struggle which you have seen and yeah. that's why when your mother passed you felt that you could not you know you were still studying and you wanted her to see you grow and have a job and you know yeah. give you an opportunity to serve them back right 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 <sighs> I'm sorry so uh, we struggle a lot but at the time, though, there was, you know, we are financially very poor. Emotionally, we are very rich. Very strong. Very strong. Love because was abundant. A, right. Whatever the situation, <coughs> coming from such a remote background yeah. area. Right, right, yes. We have the strength to fight and progress. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, that, thank you for helping me to express myself. Uh, I, in spite of that, we never felt being inferior mm. or we, I, right. we didn't develop any complex mm. because their love was so abundant. And my father taught me how to dream. He taught me how to uh, have ambition. Mm. And then, you know, uh, these problems sufferings and setbacks never really stood on the way to you know achieving what we wanted to monica I'm finding the voices finding the voices finding the voice what down with the air force ke kai ki sutta hai ta ise le le mujhe da imaaj rakha no hai ta i could see my father who came to meet my headmaster because he was unable to pay the fees. I'm sorry. Well, because we need such story for people to have faith in the government and the system that yes, it's working. Let's bring peace in our home state, people Manipur. Who have got uh, the job without bribery, mm -hmm. they'll do justice to their job and they will help raise the standard of Manipur. <laughs> Thank you for sharing your story, particularly emphasizing on the fact that despite our background, mm. wherever we are, mm. we 
are standing with our own feet mm, right. with pride and dignity yeah. and respect for our origin mm -hmm. and this is something I really want to convey to our young listeners because sometimes I have um, interacted with students where they feel a little shy or embarrassed telling how hard their parents work um, the background like in terms of farming or cultivator mm -hmm. because I feel that it is their hard work, their belief in us, right. in their quest for education that, you know, mm -hmm. we are mm -hmm. uh, able to stand independently. So thank right. you for sharing your story. Yeah, thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to speak about my parents and my life right. and God's grace. Mm -hmm. uh, can I have uh, share one more? Yes, say, sure, yeah. sure. See, like uh, one uh, tele television uh, uh, prominent personalities will interview Oprah Winfrey mm -hmm. on the TV mm -hmm. when she came, she visited India. Mm -hmm. uh, though I am not great like Oprah Winfrey, Winfrey, mm -hmm. but then I could relate to one of her statements. Mm -hmm. She said that I have a relationship with someone who is bigger mm. uh, that was the uh, that that makes her you know able to overcome the problems the challenges in her life mm -hmm. so something like that when right. she stated that one you know it reminds me of my small life as mm. well someone bigger someone who could all uh, I mean, who all could oversee everything about my life my parents life my grandparents life my background and my future mm -hmm. gave me the strength mm -hmm. of course there were times when we thought that everything is going to be you know over mm -hmm. and then like you know uh, like a like a stream rolling down from the hills mm. and then the stream the water you know just vanish unable to continue to flow mm -hmm. but the water reappears out, uh, somewhere down mm -hmm. in the below right mm -hmm. uh, like that there were uh, many occasions where God uh, was in uh, very much involved prominently when we thought everything was over mm -hmm. personally in my life or family life mm -hmm. in terms of my education in terms of my career or uh, things like that you know mm -hmm. we thought and even the people thought the people around us also thought that way mm -hmm. but water reappears somewhere mm. down you know so i praise god for that now so it's god your faith in god that gets you yeah you know, moving forward right right mm. in fact my father after he became christian he was very enthusiastic about the bible mm -hmm. and in, at a young at a small age he inculcated in us the how to have faith in god mm -hmm. and he used he was uh, an avid reader of the Bible. Mm -hmm. He was almost like Abraham Lincoln. Mm -hmm. He, my father, was denied of formal education, mm -hmm. but he read the Bible thoroughly. Mm -hmm. And without consulting the Bible, uh, like a bedtime story, mm -hmm. he will he would tell us uh, share, the uh, share the stories. And after I have uh, grown, I was able to read. When I read, the, my father narrated the Bible stories very very accurately. Mm -hmm. So the man who was deprived of former educations have been educated by the Bible. Mm -hmm. uh, so I appreciate that one. Right. And my mother was, uh, see, my father taught me how to dream big in spite of uh, you know, what we are. My mother taught us how to maintain honesty, integrity, and the beauty of love and mm -hmm. care, you know, mm -hmm. which you know, I could not fully explain here. So my parents were a good combination, and then uh, they make us what we are, what I am now. Right. I'm grateful to them. Right. <laughs> Thank so you very much. So education is a yeah. big gift from big your parents right. to you. Right, right. Mm -hmm. So before we end, um, yeah. one of the quests I have in mm. inviting you, and mm. also mm. I wanted to expand my show to all the different ethnic groups mm. in Manipur mm. um, and of course to the rest of the world as mm. my show is growing. Mm. Um, a lot of the media does portray about a divide between the hill and valley but I mm. see a lot of love mm. amongst us mm. and just wanted you to share a little bit about your view on that. Yeah. This is a big uh, mistake where that divide the hill and the plain divide has been, you know, magnified out of proportion. This is the crucial moment 
at this juncture. Instead of that uh, divide theory, we must unite much more so that we can compete with Southeast Asia, so that we can compete with the rest of India. You know, Manipur is a beautiful place. And uh, from the plain, from the window of the plain, if you look down, God has not divided the hill in the plain. God has created beautifully, right? Mm -hmm. And the uh, people, we should mingle more, especially the right thinking people, we should mingle more and unite you know, unity and peace is needed for development, for economic activity, for good education. Right. And also so this is not the time to divide, ma'am. It's time to unite. look for unity and bridging up gaps. Yeah, but I do see there is a lot of unity and love. Yeah. I think that it's just that people are not focused on stories and mm, hence my no. invitation to you to show your uh, story uh, and yeah, yeah. positivity uh, for... Right. The people of Manipur and also spreading it across you know nationally and internationally yeah, yeah definitely man. Right. so is there any message you would like to share especially for the young listeners we have in our show uh, yeah for seven years after my graduation I was in Arunachal Pradesh and then uh, for two years then I came back to Turachanpur Manipur mm -hmm. and then I I was uh, in a corner of Turachanpur where there was ethnic uh, trouble mm -hmm. but at the time I want to keep my mind pure I want to focus on progress. I want to uh, see, you know, like uh, bigger things, the bigger things, mm -hmm. uh, like I thought. Mm. So what I did, uh, by God's grace, was I kept on reading, n uh, not the daily papers mm -hmm. where uh, you know killings and this and that are reported. Mm -hmm. so instead, I read magazines from mm -hmm. Delhi and uh, news from Delhi. Outside. Outside. Mm -hmm. What we read. You know, is you know, you know, has an effect on our mind right, and thoughts does. and perspective mm -hmm. and the scope, right? Mm -hmm. Had I not been doing that for many years, I would not get a job I got here in Parliament mm -hmm. also. Mm -hmm. And I'll be embroiled in one of the small, small petty fightings mm -hmm. also. So you broadened your uh, outlook? Yeah, I broadened my broadened outlook. Yeah, in spite of the heavy, heavy, I mean, a great turmoil happening there, mm -hmm. I was looking, trying, mm -hmm. groping for. Uh, uh, good magazines, good books, mm. plus I never left my Bible. Mm -hmm. There are so many politics, politics of killings and mm. you know, like this and that. Mm -hmm. But the where I used to refer mm -hmm. as one of the leader of my community here in Delhi. Mm -hmm. uh, people, I, there are times I need to take decision also. Mm -hmm. But I always consulted the Bible mm. on the basis, you know, I'm revealing what mm -hmm. my secret, you know, now. Mm -hmm. The Bible has never recommended killing others. Mm. Uh, do good to others. Overcome evil with good. Mm. You know, th these are not only um, only meant for the pastors and mm -hmm. the people in the church. These are meant for everyone, mm -hmm. even the political leaders, the social leaders, student leaders also. Mm -hmm. I think if we adopt this, mm. you know, the goodness. Uh, the goodness and then the s discernment will come and progress can come mm -hmm. if God is happy with us only. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, thank you for giving me no, this no, opportunity that's good, that's good. once again. That is the message which I would like to give to the younger generations. Uh, our to state, beautiful state, Manipur, mm -hmm. might be very troubled outside. Mm -hmm. As a student, as a young man, as a young girl, as a young boy, read good books, mm. read bigger books. Don't depend so much on the local papers reports mm. about killings and hatter and the press release. The right. <laughs> that like widen uh, your mind, widen, widen your, your mind, widen your view. Don't try mm. to compete with your neighbors who is next to you. Compete with the world, mm. or try to catch up with the world. That's an excellent uh, yeah. message. Thank uh, you. Thank you very much. Mm. So yeah. to end our interview, um, I don't know how much you know about Finding the Voices, but Finding the Voices, as you know, I'm actually uh, professionally, I'm in the IT field. I yes. have nothing to do with broadcasting, but oh. I felt the need um, that we need to share more positive story. And that is why we started Finding the Voices. And also another aspect was for our own people to see the different career perspective and yes. different people all over the world who have gone out of Manipur or in Manipur <coughs> because we really don't know who is who in Manipur yeah. and the other perspective is for the rest of the world to see a window of Manipur with mm. positivity and not the other window where the media is doing mm. a great job of mm. uh, covering the conflict and other things um, so just wanted to get 
uh, feedback, advice, or any comments about our show? Uh, this is wonderful. Uh, I mean to say, I don't want to flatter, but I, I'm g uh, sincere, genuine. I appreciate this uh, 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 good uh, platform, finding the voice. And I, I am happy that I'm part of the voice now. I want, uh, I wish, you know, the voice to grow and to expand more in the years to come and to reach out to the lonely students and I'm bringing them up, younger generations, to the greater world and to play in the greater arena of life, right? Right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very for much. sharing your story. Please join me at Finding the Voices.